To successfully complete the testing of electrical systems, you must be able to accurately take and interpret voltage, current, and resistance measurements. Although separate meters can be used, a multimeter provides an accurate, versatile, and compact tool for troubleshooting. Understanding how to use a multimeter to take these measurements is essential. Each time the meter is first started, it performs a brief self-test of its functions. During this test, all the display segments are on. When the self-test is finished, the meter chirps once and is ready to begin taking readings. To save battery power, the meter goes into standby mode if it is not used for an extended period of time. This is indicated by a series of dots on the display. The meter still uses some power, so this mode is not a substitute for turning the meter off when not using it. The display is recovered by the turning of the function knob. When the internal battery has approximately 100 hours of life left, a low battery indicator appears in the upper left corner of the display. The battery should be replaced at this time. The Fluke 23 can display up to four digits of information along with a unit of measure. In order to detect the trend over period of time of a measurement, a horizontal bar graph has been added to the bottom of the display. The number display is updated five times every two seconds. The bar graph is updated 25 times a second. This allows the technician to follow a changing measurement. The type of measurement function is selected by rotating the selector knob to the function desired. Measurement is performed by touching the metal tips of the test leads to the circuit. Remember to be careful to never let your fingers come in contact with the metal tips of the test leads while performing a measurement. In order to compare two measurements, you may want to force the meter to stay on a particular range. The range hold or manual hold feature disables the auto range function and allows the selection of a fixed measurement range. To enable range hold, turn the rotary switch to any function except 300 millivolts DC or the diode test settings. Next, Press the range button in the center of the rotary switch handle. The meter displays a black square in a circle to indicate that the range hold feature has been selected. Readings are taken in the same manner as when the meter is in auto range. However, the display remains in the same scale for each reading. When the wrong range has been selected using the range hold feature, the letters OL appear in the display. The meter must then be set to a higher range. To change to a higher range, press the range button briefly. The meter will beep each time the range is changed. To deactivate the range hold feature, press and hold the range button for one second. The meter will chirp once and return to auto range. Sometimes it is not possible to read the meter while touching the test leads to the circuit. The touch hold feature allows removal of the test leads while retaining the measurement on the display. To place the meter in touch hold, hold down the gray button in the center of the rotary switch while turning the switch from off to any function. Release the gray button when the square in the circle is displayed. The meter captures the reading while the leads are touching the circuit. A special indicator on the display shows that touch hold is in operation. The meter will beep when a new value is captured. The leads must be on the circuit for more than 0.5 seconds for a capture to take place. When the meter is set in the touch hold mode, it is always in the auto range mode, so the meter will switch to a higher range if necessary to capture the reading.
Each time the leads are removed and replaced, a new reading is taken. The meter can also be forced to take a new reading by pressing the gray button. This can help to ensure that a good connection is made with the probes before the reading is taken. To turn off touch hold, turn the meter off. This same meter position is also used to trace wiring or other continuity applications. Continuity is the checking of a circuit to verify that it is a complete circuit. With the meter in this position, if the resistance is less than 150 ohms, the meter will beep continuously until the leads are removed from contact with the circuit. Install the red lead into the port marked as shown. Install the black lead into the common port. Turn the rotary switch from the off position. Select AC volts if a circuit with alternating current is being measured. Select DC volts to measure a circuit with direct current. Select the 300 millivolts function for the best resolution when the input is less than 320 millivolts DC. When the meter is in the 300 millivolts range, readings are displayed in millivolts and the DC volts symbol blinks. Determine if the touch hold or range hold mode of operation is required for the reading and set the meter accordingly. Make sure the power is connected to the circuit to be measured. Determine the best location points to take the reading. Connect the multimeter terminals at the two points across which you want to measure the voltage. Attach the positive multimeter lead to the point leading to the positive battery terminal and negative multimeter lead to the point leading to the negative battery terminal. If the polarity of the test leads is reversed, the meter will simply display a negative sign along with the reading. Begin by plugging the leads into the meter. The leads are plugged into the ports based on the expected reading. For the Fluke 23 meter with measurements up to 320 milliamps, connect the red test lead to the 300 milliamps port and the black lead to the common port. For measurements up to 10 amps, use the 10 amps and common ports. The 10 amps and common port may also be used for measurements between 10 amps and 20 amps for up to 30 seconds. Turn the rotary switch from the off position. Select AC current if a circuit with alternating current is being measured. Select the DC setting to measure a circuit with direct current. Determine if the touch hold or range hold mode of operation is required for the reading and set the meter accordingly. A resistance check is measured by removing the power from the circuit and connecting the meter in series with the item to be measured. Begin by plugging the black lead into the common port and then plug the red lead into the port marked as shown. Turn the rotary switch from the off position. Select the ohm setting. The symbol on the right side of the display indicates the unit of measurement for the reading. Resistance meter readings can be displayed in ohms, kilo-ohms, or mega-ohms. Turn the meter on. Set the meter to the lowest ohm scale. Measure the resistance of the meter by touching the test probes together and reading the resistance value. This reading includes the resistance of the test leads installed on the meter. Subtract this amount when taking measurements.